hold on a second. Let's all act shocked when we hear that Disney and Marvel Studios are treating people that created the characters that they make billions of dollars off of their hard work and they get nothing. What? Oh my god, I'm shocked. How could they? You guys know the drill by now, whether it's Sony, whether it's WBDC, whether it's Marvel Studios Disney, they all treat the people that created these characters more or less like garbage. Directly taking the storylines that the writers wrote for the comics, the artists that designed their modern looks and everything, sometimes even the people that created these characters and literally made them who they are literally get nothing. I mean, how long did it actually take for WB to admit that Bill Finger was in fact important to Batman and literally contributed more than Bob Kane? Yeah, like more than 60 years. Again, this is commonplace. So The Hollywood Reporter has a pretty big uh, article that focuses on the creator of Yelena Belova, aka Yelena the Black Widow from, well, the Black Widow movie recently. And what the creator revealed is the fact that essentially it goes all the way back to uh, signing the early contracts. And what she reveals is that, you know, she created the character in 1999. And that per contracts and agreements and all sorts of, uh, you know, dealings, the expected payout was $25,000. When the payment came in, it was 5000 So you're probably wondering, how did this happen? If you signed a contract for twenty-five for a theatrical appearance, but then you're getting 5000 what happens? Well, essentially, there's different breakdowns that were, uh, you know, in effect that date all the way back to 2007, where the MCU really found itself right about to kick off with Iron Man next year and so forth. So essentially, you would receive 25000 for a theatrical film appearance. 2,000 for any episode of TV that's over 30 minutes. 1,000 for an episode that's less than 30 minutes. For action figures, you're entitled to 5,000 per one figure released in a single year. 10,000 for two. 25,000 for three or more. Video games, maximum of 30,000, but that had to be shared among all the creators who contributed to the game with specific characters and so forth. So that all sounds good, right? Yeah, of course it does, except you don't get that because um, as it goes on, these contracts get complex and as they get reworked and new platforms come out, of course, you know, we've seen this pro wrestling. I always bring it up. Sure, you're a pro wrestler. Sign this contract. You're going to get DVD sales. Oh, streaming's not DVD, so you don't get any bonus sales. Thanks for coming. That's essentially the thing here. Again, everything's factoring into this decision and essentially it's in the contract. Hey, if things change... We give you less money, so here's your $5,000, despite the fact that you should be making way more, considering there's been action figures, TV appearances, Black Widow the movie, and countless other things that have happened with Yelena. And to make things even more BS, when she decided to go to a actual you know person that deals with these contracts and get lawyers involved, they revealed, oh, in the contracts, yeah, we split that up amongst artists and writers, and everybody involved with the character. So you could get even less. So, um, enjoy what you got. Again, this is the same story we keep talking about time and time again. Marvel, DC, it doesn't matter. This is what they all do to these creators. Now, mind you, let me just point out that if, for example, they were just to give her her $25,000 that it states in the contract, you know how much they would lose? Nothing. They would lose nothing. Because that's how much money they make per year. So, yeah. Um, good job, guys. Screwing over the people that got you to where you are. And creating some great characters. That's a great way to deal with talent.